Hey, what is up guys? This is Lemillion Nation coming to you again with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Now, today we're going to go into a new My Hero Academia chapter. This chapter is a very special chapter. It's a chapter that really focuses on some of the things that we really needed to get over with. The civilians and Deku, how they're going to handle him being there, right? Yeah, it might seem like an inconsequential step, but it's a big step for the entire population. They're in a crisis situation, a crisis situation caused by the hero's failures, and now they failed again. So now they're forcing the civilians to go through something that they wouldn't normally have to go through within another parameter, right? That is really just, none of it is their fault, really, right? So, all right, there you go. My Hero Academia chapter 323, all right? Now, the chapter basically starts off where we see Ida and all of the other students within the principal's office. They're talking, right? Now, the principal is actually explaining how the UA defenses work. It's been upgraded. Now, these defenses are defenses that can actually move now. Since Shigaraki brought on the gate in um, previous seasons, right? They actually made improvements to where they have metal platings, metal platings, and this kind of gave me vibes that the principal is probably the traitor. I didn't know how Shigaraki's awakening would be, right? Anyways, he knows that she, he know he now knows that Shigaraki's awakening is the decay. Now he now he put in defenses that are really specifically geared towards Shigaraki's awakening, where the metal plates actually counter the spreading of the decay itself, right? So all the students began to ask, hey, what do you know that Shigaraki's awakening would be this to actually make these defenses? And then the principal said that it was actually just a hunch that he came upon. He prepared for any actual eventuality. So then anything that happened, he was prepared for. And that's how he actually prepared everything. So now the UA defenses can actually move. And since the UA's defenses can actually move whenever there seems to be an invasion that's going to go on, they actually they actually can move your school underground and all of the underground routes and they, they have around 3000 miles of underground routes and each route is connected to the various schools which also upgraded their defenses now they're comparing ua's defenses to tartarus itself right remember how hard all for one had to fight in order to get out of tartarus and he was saying that even if he had giganta machia with him it would still be hard that's why he, he he believes that this prison is what is the greatest in the entire world right so yeah guys now let's move on from there where the citizens almost rioting because deku is there they don't actually with deku there they believe that they're in much 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 greater danger than they normally should be in even in even though they're already in a predicament of themselves right a predicament in and of itself right so now they're talking and they're saying that he was actually failed. That's why they're trying to force him to go through that. So then Oraka and the rest of them start talking. Deku's danger sense even activated. It seems like the citizens were about to attack. Right, but Deku's danger sense activated. But Oraka stopped him before he did anything. And then she used her power to float and go up on top of the roof. And started talking to the people. And telling them that Deku can be a hero even greater than All Might. If they would just accept him, right? So Deku was there and he was listening, observing everything. Everyone seems distressed. The giant the giant monster lady that Deku saved appears as well. Deku's mom, Ida's mom, everyone, everyone that's there, right? They're actually very they look very concerned, right? And Deku actually knew all knew all this was gonna happen really, right? But Oraka said that he knew as well right she said that Deku knows all this better than even them that's why I tried to stay away but they need him to be there he needs to be there in order to properly protect everything and everyone right so Oraka is on the rooftop screaming she's in the rain screaming right guys yeah so let me know what you think guys like subscribe leave a comment below and thank you so much for tuning in hit that subscription button and this is Lemillion Nation signing out